Good evening, folks, and welcome back, my friends. I'm T.S., and this is the simulcast up and running now for the 22nd of May, 1995. John Gray is here tonight, the author of a book called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus that became a runaway bestseller when published a couple of years back. He's out now with Mars and Venus in the bedroom. <laughs> Something is going to explode here tonight, you know, because I, I feel that once Mars and Venus get into the bedroom, the entire equation between Mars and Venus begins to change. But nevertheless, John Gray is here tonight and will explain his theories on how men and women can better understand their sexual needs. You know, if they would have had television in the time of Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve would have done a show on understanding this. Yeah, exactly right. Jeffrey Tubin here tonight to talk about the O.J. Simpson case. You know how I'm so fond of showing you tomorrow morning's newspaper the night before. Here is last Friday's newspaper from New York City, and I thought the cover interesting. How'd you like this one screaming at you, folks? The odds that O.J. Simpson is innocent, a million seven hundred thousand to one. Against. Compelling evidence in the courtroom last week, and uh, this evening Jeffrey Tubin will explain to us what this all means. He did say that the... Um, Oh, a billion seven hundred million to one. Thank you for reminding me. Seven billion seven hundred. <laughs> this is this is why I'm going to stick with, uh, with with tomorrow morning's newspaper. <laughs> I don't do well with, with 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 old news. To show you how the workplace has changed. Did I complete that thought? What's the difference? Yeah. By the way, we have people here from Estonia tonight, from the Estonian Television Network, and they are analyzing the way we do these programs. <laughs> Man, are they in trouble back there? <laughs> They'll go back there and say. Yeah, we went over to CBS and uh, we watched this guy Snyder, yeah? And uh, he's on at 12.30 in the morning. What are you, nuts? 12.30 in the morning? But it, what would be great is we could take this whole show to Estonia after we leave Green Bay. And, and I, 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 I could tell all the stories in Estonia that you are so sick of here. Coming to work today, I noticed that uh, the workplace has changed. Everybody at CBS is peering into a computer screen. Have you noticed this? As you, every office you go by, there are men and women sitting there, and they're staring at these computer screens with numbers on them. And I don't know what they all mean. But it, nobody talks on the phone here anymore. Everything is email back and forth and computer screens. Three years ago tonight, Johnny Carson did his last television program at NBC and, uh, and, and disappeared from television after 30 incredible years uh, in late night, uh, in late night, late night appearances. And I, I just marked this occasion, uh, not that we don't love Dave and Jay and the traditions that they carry on in the 1130 time period, uh, but this man truly was a part of our lives for many, many years, and I just marked the occasion as sort of a little milestone in the history of broadcasting. Anyway, I'm driving this morning to get some, some gasoline, and I'm listening to KNX, that would be CBS Radio here in Los Angeles, all news, all the time, except when they have football. And uh, now somebody forgot to call them because I hear the guy saying, uh, experience you can trust. The CBS Evening News with Dan Rather and Connie Chung tonight at 6 on KCBS-TV, LA's Channel 2. Didn't I read in the paper yesterday that there's been a, a change there? And by the way, what a horrible weekend for uh, Connie and for Dan Rather to have to go through this investigation of what happened. And these things are never pleasant. And they are both my friends. I understand that Dan said something very nice to Connie uh, at the end of his program tonight. And I say to Connie, because I've known her for a long time, and her husband, Maury Povich. See, if I were in Estonia, I could tell the story of when Povich used to date my, my ex-wife. And, and, and <laughs> I'm serious. And, and, and I lit candles to him every night. Maury, please God, Venus and Mars will collide. But <laughs> so anyway, Connie, thank you for the chocolates you sent in here. And, and good luck to you. And, uh, and we love you here. And uh, Dan, we feel for you here. And... Keep going, both of you, and may it turn out well for all concerned. I'm just not going to get involved in this contest that's going on back there. We'll be right back here with John Gray and uh, men and women, Mars and Venus, uh, together in La Chambre. <laughs> Saddle back, fire up the simultaneous, and watch the pictures, and I hope some helpful ideas as they fly through the air. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>